Welcome back to the channel, my name's Naroku and today we're looking at something that's probably popped up a lot on your suggested videos lately, Dragon Ball The Breakers. Personally, I've heard very little about this game since it was announced at the end of last year, but today I want to let you know what I've learned and what you can expect from the game. Dragon Ball Breakers has been labelled as an online asymmetrical action game. Think of it as Dead by Daylight meets Dragon Ball. You have one raider, who as far as I'm aware will be Freezer, Cell or Majin Buu, trying to hunt seven ordinary citizens known as survivors, who have been sucked into a time warp, merging different timelines together. If you're a survivor, you're tasked with activating the super time machine by protecting the startup system that will appear in the middle of the map. If protected, survivors win. However, before the startup system will appear, you must collect power keys which are scattered across the map before placing each key in a designated location. The more power keys you have, the less time it takes to initiate the super time machine. If the startup system is destroyed, survivors can still escape by activating beacons that will appear to summon an emergency time machine that they can then use to escape by themselves or with their fellow survivors. The raider must defeat all survivors before they can escape by destroying the time machine, by killing all survivors or having the game timer run out with survivors still having not escaped. They can also level up mid game by going through their transformations, with every transformation their combat power and skill will increase. Both raiders and survivors have many skills they can use to help them. Raiders for example have a variety of skills such as special attacks, flying and key detection whereas survivors can do things like summon vehicles, change into random objects or use weapons. Now obviously, I know what you're thinking, the raider is so much more powerful than the 7 survivors. However, a final ace up the sleeve is that survivors can choose 3 super warriors such as Vegeta, Goku and Piccolo to embody and use against the raider with each super warrior having different power levels. If all this information wasn't enough already, you can also summon Shenron as the raider and survivor to help your cause in a variety of ways. Personally, it's Dragon Ball so obviously I'm excited, I can imagine some great hide and seek moments where players transform into the wrong object and I'm looking forward to the possibility of something that is a little bit different than what we're used to. As always, like the video, let me know what you think about the game down in the comment section down below, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.